Hi guys, in this episode of Plumber Playthrough, I'm gonna be continuing with my playthrough of Telltale's The Walking Dead Season 3. And out of the uh, episodes of Season 3, this is the first one which you're actually getting my first ever replay of. Because like I mentioned in, in my first two episodes of Season 3, um, this recording session that I'm doing, like this... Uh, series that I'm doing on my channel right now is the first time I've, I'm actually replaying the season as a whole because when it originally uh, was released in 2017 I only played the first two episodes so uh, in 2019 when I was uh, replaying all the seasons in preparation for season 4 I played through season 3 for the first time and I tried to record it actually like I've explained before but due to technical difficulties I wasn't able to upload any of the episodes for season 1, season 2 and I kind of gave up of recording for season 3 and only managed to do season 4. But also yesterday I was uh, recording episode 1 and 2 of season 3 uh, and uh, uh, due to the glitchiness and the bugginess of this third season my choices from season 2 didn't carry over properly instead of uh, accepting my choice of staying at Wellington uh, when I went uh, there instead of going with Kenny the game thought that I left with Kenny so I played through episodes 1 and 2 like that and I hated seeing Kenny die because that's what happens to him if you have gone with him in season 2 he dies in season 3 so does Jane and so does Edith who is the uh, Wellington lady so instead I uh, figured out uh, how to uh, reconstruct the story from the previous seasons into this season kind of like how you do it for season 4 so I made those choices up and just did another playthrough of those two episodes which you saw in the last two uh, videos that I uploaded uh, on this series but yeah this time this is technically the first time I'm replaying season 3 so you're gonna get my most uh, genuine replay reaction I guess uh, that you didn't get to see for episodes 1 and 2 because in my original recordings uh, that I recorded yesterday I was really blown away by how much I was actually enjoying the episodes because uh, because season 3 is the, the season that I've played the least so I don't remember every detail or every moment so it's kind of refreshing compared to season 1 and 2 which I've played like 20 times at this point and you also see me experience that for season 4 as well, because that one especially I've played only once originally, so I'm curious to see how I'm gonna, how much I'm gonna enjoy it in the replay. But now we are at episode 3, and enough with me uh, talking about stuff you don't care about, let's just get into the episode. Previously on The Walking Dead. Ooh, Javi's voice. So smooth. You don't have to fill his cup up anymore, baby. Grandpa is sleeping. No, Yaya. Pipo's awake. <gasps> Solamente está confundido. Mama. How convenient that he died right oh after the zombie apocalypse. Oh my god! <laughs> Good thing Javi is a baseball player. <laughs> hey! I love the cinematic look though. I honestly could play this uh, game in a cinematic mode like this and enjoy it just fine. Put your hands up and close your eyes. And again, I gotta say, the game looks honestly very vibrant and colorful. I really like the colors Thanks. of season one. Sorry. I mean, season one and two. Give me the same feeling, but Shit. like I said, Kay. I have not experienced that uh, feeling for season three that much. Javi, don't. Hey, because I haven't played call it. Much. But there's still plenty to enjoy for season three, myself. even though it's easily it's the worst Paul, season. But my friends call me Jesus. Though the worst uh, Telltale Walking Dead content is definitely the Michelle uh, DLC. The goddamn why she is. If you want to shoot me, shoot me. How about I shoot your little boyfriend here instead? 
Holy Sorry, Conrad. Shit. You got my boy, and as much as I hate him, fuck you, you're in the state. What the hell's going on out here? Dun, dun, dun. Oh my god. You know one thing that I don't like about season three? It doesn't so really have dark. many atmospheric moments. We're just gonna get that propane and then come right back. I, I if you get what I mean, because like, the there's road. a lot of moments in, front of the in season house. one and two where I just, I just there was am able to, to enjoy like the vibe at, at the moment. And limb every damn day. Nothing. But there's easy no such game. thing in season three. But that doesn't it's mean we don't have to try. I know. Without a flavor, you know. That's all. We get over there, we grab the tank, like I said, get the hell back doesn't home. have death. If we're lucky, That's part of the fact that it doesn't have death things. as much. <sighs> Fingers crossed. Because like so many moments in like season two, like for example, when we're sitting around the campfire, when we're going to the house that Arvo there takes us in season two. That is a great atmospheric moment, and I love that one. Or when the baby's being born. That is another Let's really cool and moment, and I like that. Atmospheric moment. Uh, I'm talking about, but we don't have such a thing in season three, for the most part. There's maybe a couple that Empty. kind of have a little bit of a, that vibe, but it doesn't really have the you same way. Fucking kidding me! God damn it! Maybe don't make a noise. Of course it's empty. Why would we get that lucky? Hey, hey, hey! Don't beat yourself up about it. It was worth a shot. It just didn't work out. I'm sorry. I'm just sick of this shit. Well, I it's too early to be sick of this shit. This one time, we deserve to catch a fucking break. That's not how it works, though. Can't you? <laughs> how did you not get beaten right there? I don't know. Oh my god. Kate, you're a hammer now! Oh god. Get bit, you bitch! <laughs> Thanks for nothing. I'm sorry. I was just so fucking scared. You froze. It's okay. I wanted to it's kill him. It's not really okay. Really you shouldn't did, be frozen in, I know in moments of desperation that like this. That was one of Gabe's friends. True. Big fucking deal. He was so sweet. He always had a smile on his face. Okay. So you recognized him. That's no reason to let it kill you. Yeah. And it was going to kill you. I know. It was going to kill you, not her, really. I know you're right. I don't even know what to call them. Muertos? If they're not people, if they're just the dead, <sighs> muertos. That's what we'll call them. Why do you care? I thought we about were gonna such die. Name, you know. I thought Gabe and Mariana were just gonna wake up and we would just be gone. I'm right here, okay? I'm here. You're here. We're still alive. That's the what matters. The thing is, muertos sounds good only to English speakers. At least, like, as, the, as a name for the, for the walkers, the dead. Because as, muertos, as far as I know, literally means the dead. And uh, even the word in my language, my native language, sounds very similar to muertos. It's martafzi. It's very close, as you can see. And that's why uh, I, I'm able to say the word uh, muertos so well. I know we all wanted to stay here. And in that's the, the thing, house, though, about the English language. Back, it doesn't really have the same flavor as other languages because when I say the mom. word, um, what are you saying? Martafzi, which here. essentially just not translates anymore. to the dead. You and I could have been killed out there um, for an empty can. What makes you think it's going to it be better anywhere so cool, else? It sounds so cool, but when I Everything say the word the dead, it doesn't hit as hard. It's dead. Exactly. 
How which is why I'm a little interested in checking out the Walking Dead TV we show stay. in my native Something's language. Going to get hurt. How it sounds and how it hits really compared to when it's in English. Be happy with this plan? The kids will understand. And if they don't, we'll just make them see it our way. We have to go. How come? Wow, they were What if young. I don't want to Holy leave? Holy shit. Gabe. We're safe inside the house. It's not your call. Sorry, Gabe. But... We're the adults here. So we have no say in this at all? Yeah. It's our call. We can't stay, Gabe. It's just getting worse out there. But what about Dad? What's he gonna think if he shows up and we, we just ditched him? Your dad would want us to do this, Gabe. He'd want us to survive. We've been surviving. Here. At home. Barely. I'm sorry, Gabe. But... Javi's right. Uh, how about you guys go and I stay here? You're a kid. That's not how it works. Yeah. I can take care of myself. Yeah, sure. If I need any help, I'll just ask my friends. Your friends are Gabe. dead. Honey. What? Your friends are dead. What's what's wrong with her? Why is she acting so weird? She's sad. Because when we were out, we saw your friend, Drew. But it wasn't exactly him anymore. You mean, he, he was one of them? Yep. We're so sorry, Gabe. So you understand why, don't you? Why we have to leave? If that happened to you, I couldn't bear it. Well, you're gonna have to, Kate. When You're gonna have, have to, to go. cause I'll make sure of it. Cause I hate that little Tomorrow, piss boy. As soon as it's daylight. And I hate to be going I wanna leave in a such note. a mainstream opinion because usually I'm a very contrarian okay. person. What are uh, we gonna tell? For, a mo for the most part. I want to say something good. But I hate Gabe. I'm sorry. Something that won't make him sad. Tell him we'll find him. Somehow, we're all gonna see each other again. I hate him. Because like the game that. tries to uh, tries to I'm gonna write make right you now. kind so of try forget. to guide him. Of course. Essentially, what the I'll game does him. with AJ in season Thank four. You. But really. the thing is, Gabe is not likable, while AJ kind of is. Well, more than Gabe, at least. And also, Gabe, uh, AJ is not a fuck up. He actually can do shit. Well, Gabe is that particular character where they think they're so tough. They think they know it all. They think they have a handle on things and that they can do it. But when push comes to shove, they're dumb. They're tryhards. He's a tryhard and I hate that kind of character. Like, uh, Andrea in The Walking Dead TV show uh, is exactly that kind of character as well. And one of the reasons why I personally hate it. Baseball bat. Wrap it in barbed wire. Come on, that was a perfectly good weapon. Are you kidding me?
Finally, we're back to the present. Dad? Javi! Is that really you? Yep. <laughs> I always hoped I'd find you. I... I thought you were dead, man. I, I thought you'd been dead for, for a long time. No such luck. I knew you were still alive. I knew it! Hey, weapons down! This is my family! You gotta let us in. Kate doesn't have much longer. Jesus. Kate! David? I'm here, honey. I'm right here. What the hell happened? She's been shot. We got the bullet out, but she's still bleeding. We need your doctor. Now, David. What the fuck is she on the ground for? She's barely got a pulse. She's cold as fucking ice. We were trying to prove that we could be trusted. That we'd follow orders. Anything to get her to your hospital. You that afraid of an injured woman, Max? It wasn't her! Oh, his name is... It was yeah, the rest his name is Max. I was naming that other asshole correctly. She's coming inside! But she has I told this guy much of being... Fuck uh, that! Badger. This is my wife! I... I didn't know! Honest! She's going to the hospital. Now! Our doctor's gonna help you, honey. I'm gonna make sure of it. Wait, I I'm going with you. Sorry, but the rest of you have to go straight to quarantine. What for? All newcomers get checked for bites, and they all have to answer a couple of questions. Our doctor will clear the two of them, but the rest of you have to come with me to the quarantine holding area. Don't you get it? I'm David's brother. I'm going to the hospital with them. We have procedures here, procedures that have to be followed, even if you are related to David. Ah, this is bullshit. It is, honestly. Come on. Hey, David! David just cares about his dumb family. Let's go. I'm gonna put a bullet in his head if I had if I get the chance, honestly. Man, this video I feel like is already so much better than the last uh, two that I recorded for uh, season three. It's back to how it was in my original recording for these uh, for episodes one and two. Like I'm so into it. I have so much things to talk about. I'm engaged with this. Eleanor. Trip. Oh God, Eleanor. When we found the car without you in it, I didn't know what to think. The engine up and died. I came here looking for help and this happened. I've been so worried about Kate. I told them she needed a doctor. They promised me someone would look into it. You thought these people would give a shit about some stranger dying in their driveway? I... I don't know, Javi. They knew she was dying. Well, at least those assholes realized she needed a hospital once they saw her. More so, I'm sorry, Javi. good thing that uh, David really, showed up. But I didn't have any reason not to believe them. What? It's the new the people here in Richmond. They're new frontier. Oh my god. Oh, you ain't even heard the worst part yet. One of them's his brother. I didn't even know you had a brother, Javi. Hey, nobody's more surprised than me. I, I thought the guy was dead. We haven't seen David in years. It's just been me, Kate, and the kids this whole time. I don't even want to think about what the odds are, but he did seem pretty damn surprised to see you. Whoever this guy is, he can't be all bad. Yeah, he's a bit of right? an asshole. I mean, he helped Kate instead of hauling her down here. Yeah, because he brought her inside. She's his damn wife. Exactly. Exactly my point. You're kidding. Yep. Kate is married to your brother? David was gone. I had to step up, make sure the family would be okay. It's not like I could just walk away from her, from any of them. Yeah, you don't really have a choice no. in that uh, of circumstances. Course not. Family drama aside, hope you know I'm not about to make nice with New Frontier. Sure. I know you didn't have much stake in Prescott Hobby, but they burned that place to the ground for no fucking reason. I agree with you. After three. everything you folks told me, I'm guessing I'm not going to find my people alive. Hell, Hobby, they killed your niece. Shot Kate! Don't... For all we know, your brother could have been behind it. I doubt it. But... Even don't worry. Even if it worry. wasn't his idea in the first place, 
if he knew about it and didn't stop it. I hate to admit it, but there's a chance he gave the order. It doesn't seem that it was much of an order, as much them, of a was just uh, trying to get payback for asshole what was who stolen. broke free from the rules. It's possible. What was he like when you knew? Uh, a bit of an asshole. You guys get along. He seemed happy enough to see you up there. If you want to hear me say he's an asshole, fine. He's the biggest asshole I know. Question is, is he a big enough asshole to go along with some of the shit they've done? That I don't if know. If your brother knew anything about what happened in Prescott, he's got to answer for it. They all do. I owe that to Conrad. I'm not just going to let things slide. I've never really been an eye for eye kind of man. But people died. We need to even out the scales. We need to look like we're playing along with their rules. Go along with what they say. For now. For now. Then, when the time is right, that's when we demand justice. Hey. Hey. I would have been here sooner, but I had to take care of... something. What do you want? Come on already. Kate's asking for you. Maybe you think it's okay to keep a lady waiting. What about the rest of my friends? They're not invited. Oh, fuck you. Hurry up now. Looks like the rules don't apply to everyone, huh? That's right. Some people get out of here early. Others stay a long fucking time. So much so you trip. Fuck Just David, drop dude. It, okay? I hate him. He's such a pissy bitch for no fucking reason. Smart cookie, this one. Javi. Just go. It's like somebody shitting his cereal and he's constantly being such a pissy bitch. I'll put in a good word for you, okay? See if we can't hurry the process along a bit. Thanks. Don't worry, guys. I'm with you. Fuck David. along with them for now that doesn't sound good we have a process our own way of doing things your, your guys better not have a problem with that he's bad it's dumb things don't go well for troublemakers here i hope that's clear david you threw us in a cell don't expect us to smile about it we do that to protect our people it's not personal mm -hmm. you sure about that come on Where are we going? Kate asked for you. I thought you'd want to check on her. Listen, Javi, Gabe... He told me some pretty messed up things. Things I need your help wrapping my head around. I don't know what to tell you, David. It's all true. No matter how much terrible shit you see, some things are still hard to stomach. He told me you lost Mariana. Just a few days ago. Yeah, to your people. Oh. I'm sorry, David. She's... She's gone. Tell him that his people killed her. It's strange grieving for the same person twice. Like losing something you didn't know you had. What was she like, Javi? She was so little when we got separated. Who did my little girl become? We got along well. Her smile kept me going through a lot of rough times. That... must have been nice. It was. How... How did she die? Your man killed her. Tell me how it happened. She was just standing there, minding her own business. She just found her lost headphones in the dirt. She was smiling. And then someone put a bullet in her head. 
What kind of animal would just open fire on her like that? An animal with your mark. My people aren't in the habit of killing little girls. Tell that to David, them. I was there. They shot Kate too. Ask your buddy at the gate if you don't believe me. Max was a part of this? He was there. Whether he was part of this, it's a little questionable. I'm not gonna antagonize him because he definitely Fuck. has a good side. He seems like a little bit of like a moral kind of character. I need details. What the hell went so down? I'm gonna try out to there. be friendly to him. I need to know exactly what happened. Everything you remember. Same assholes killed a hostage a at this town, Prescott. Prescott? At the airstrip? Yeah. Their leader flooded it with walkers and, and tear gas. Leader? A crazy bald guy with a beard. Badger. Badger? What the fuck have you done now? I'm gonna handle that stupid son of a bitch, okay? Got it. Do me a favor. Keep this to yourself. The politics here, they can get messy. I thought you were the boss. There's four of us that run, Richmond. You need to impress the other three. Or you'll be back on the road by morning. Try not to stir things up. You and your friends could have a very short stay. I can be impressive when I try. I'll follow your lead. Just don't get cute. I run security here. But it's not like my word is law. This shit with Badger doesn't make things any easier. Hey, hello. Who's the fresh meat? Ava is my brother, Javi. The baseball brother? <laughs> no shit. What are the chances of you turning up on the doorstep? My brother talked about me. All the time at the start. All good, I hope. Eh. I think you know the answer to that. Ava's my right hand. If there's anyone you can trust in Richmond, it's her. That woman, the fucking soldier. She was the first person I met up with after you and me got separated. I never would have made it without her. She's that long? You've met that long ago? Gabe said you went back to the house. At the start. Yeah, we did. I'm sorry I never found you. We waited for you for three months. Eventually the house was overrun and we had to move. Why didn't you come back? Mama and I got routed out of the city on the way to the hospital. It wasn't long before she... Poor Mama. I couldn't get back into Baltimore, so I hooked up with my old unit. We thought we could build a safe zone outside D.C. After what happened to Mama and everyone else, I thought you were all dead. But you were taking care of them, weren't you? Yeah, I was. Somehow you found a way. We took care of each other, and we all had each other's backs. You've changed, brother. It took the end of the world, but you finally grew up. Thanks. You have to in that this kind of This is where they're treating Kate. Don't get comfortable. We're not staying long. Hey! Hey, kid. Got everything you need? Uh, yeah. This place is like a resort. Check it out, Javi. Noodles in a cup. We need to get you some real food. Stat, turn you into a soldier. <laughs> Javi, I'm glad you're okay. <laughs> you know, I'm always okay. I'm you the know king me. of okay. I'm always okay. It's good to have you back. Look at this family. Look at my wife. Isn't she the most beautiful woman alive? Sure. Come on. With the lights off, you could mistake me for a walker. I'm pretty sure you have to say that. Doesn't make it not true. Sure. 
Uh, what, you okay? Uh, my... Shit. I'll get the doc. I'm fine. I just needed to talk to you alone. Damn, what a smart ass. I'm scared, Javi. More than I was the whole time on the road. Even when I thought I was going to die, everything inside me screams to get away from here. Yeah, I get it. These people are killers. And David? Yeah, I know what you mean. This place gives me the creeps. <sighs> I'm glad to hear that. I was afraid you'd been won over by the security here. No. It's always no. been you and me on the road, Javi. That's how we've made it this far. Please, promise me we'll go back to that. The first chance we get. This place. It's a cage. I promise. I'll find the way, Kate. You have my word. Rest up. You're gonna need your strength. Thanks. I feel better. Knowing we're in this together. But please hurry. We're I, all in I don't want to be left alone together. here. Feeling better? How you doing, sweetheart? We're all David reported some pain. Together. I hope it's these videos get blamed for that. Strange how it just comes and goes. Doesn't seem normal. I think she pulled her stitches when she sat up. Her stitches? I doubt it. But pain often comes in waves with abdominal wounds. <laughs> I'll give you something to take the edge off, in case it comes back. Truly superlative work. I thought I'd have to operate, but all she needed was IV fluids and some antibiotics. How did you find someone with skills like these? A wound like this kills 9 out of 10. Whoever did this really knows their stuff. We got lucky. We met a group with a medic, Eleanor, just before Kate got shot. The same group in quarantine now. She's there now? Yeah, she is. We should let her out. I'll vouch for her. Agreed. I'll have Ava bring her here. I want to meet this Eleanor. I'm sure she'll be an asset to our community. You can vouch for the rest of them too, right? It doesn't work that way. But we'll make the case for them soon. Javi and I have to go meet some people now. See if we can't prove he's worth a damn. We're gonna take real good care of you. Okay? Send my apologies, David. I won't be able to make it. Feeling okay? Fine. I just want to keep an eye on my patient. The others know my vote is with you. Come on. Remember what I said? Yeah, I'm honestly really enjoying when this. Meet so these far. guys. Keep what happened to Mariana to yourself. Badger is one of my guys. And I will handle him. Okay, this is a tough choice. I don't know what to go for in, in this case. I feel like the game is gonna make it so I should uh, say something about it, but we'll see. I think maybe Max is gonna get involved. And I honestly rather side with Max, because he's actually, as much of an asshole he is, he seems to be nicer, so... I'll try to be nicer to him. He seems nicer to me than David, so there's that. It may look pretty, but it's all sugars. There's no substance. It tastes pretty, Clint. That's all that matters. Ah, the brother. Avi, meet the guys. Clint runs food production. The crops you saw, that's him and his people. Joan owns our bridge to the outside world. She handles contact with other settlements. Pleased to meet Man, you, Man, fuck Harvey. that bitch. I trust you've been treated well. I hope you haven't been handled too roughly. Some of our people left their courtesy with their old lives. <laughs> no complaints here. I get that you guys have a way of doing things. Thank you. We have to be careful. I'm sure you can understand. <laughs> we were just about to eat. Clint was trying to convince me of the essential superiority of his cream spinach over my magnificent Black Forest Gateau. It's no contest. The spinach has real nutritional value. Javi. Take a look at that table. You tell me what you'd rather put in your belly. Cake. Spinach from Clint's garden? <laughs> or a baked delicacy by yours truly? I'd have to go with that cake. I haven't seen anything like that in years. <sighs> Suit yourself. Come on, Clint. At least he's being honest. 
I mean, I'm honest in that. I know that it's cho choosing between the two. Hopefully, that's not a big choice or anything. But that's just the thing that is looks so please, tastier to me. Forgive me if I seem direct. We're usually pretty strict about who we open our doors to. Your brother's word counts for a lot. Is that so? The three of us and Dr. Lingard make all the decisions here. So, yeah. People who choose to stay with us, they have to deal with us bossing them around. Not saying you wouldn't, but it can be an adjustment. Especially for the more independent-minded. There's no structure out there now. I always do what I'm told. Ask my older brother. You're gonna fit in well, Javi. I can see that already. I'm gonna try to play nice with him. When Joan and I met your brother, he was trying his hand at fruit. Fruit? We found him slowly murdering an orchard on the Shenandoah River. Hotty fucking ha. Huh? I helped him bring it back to life. We had a good run there. For as long as it lasted. What happened? What always happens. We trusted the wrong damn people. You're the That's wrong damn people. This. Wondering what this fine piece of body art is all about? It's our litmus test for loyalty. You're gonna regret that when you're older. You know, for job interviews and stuff. Ugh, smart ass. <laughs> <laughs> Laugh all you like. Someone takes our mark. They're committed. It was a crude answer to a difficult problem, and it hasn't always worked. Please understand. We had a terrible winter just after we moved here. We... We lost a great deal. I don't fucking Loved care. Ones who left holes in our lives. Protecting my people from that kind of pain. You that's probably kill the people who are at Richmond. So shut the it fuck up. Turned me into a perpetual night owl. I know it's a lot to ask. I know how you feel. Seeing the people I care about suffer. It, it's a terrible feeling. I just want to shield them from it all. It's a noble aim. One worth fighting for. Oh shit. Max? What are you doing here? I sent for him. Since when does he answer to you? From what I hear, he's well acquainted with your brother. They exchanged a few bullets outside our walls. I don't fucking know. Is that right? Is there bad blood between you and Max? No. Nothing that can't be worked out. I don't have a problem with him. He's all right by me. Yeah. Same here. See? I don't buy it. Max, how did this start? Don't look at him. You have an obligation to tell the truth. We caught him siphoning gas from one of our vehicles. Max. Sorry, David. I know he's family, but your brother's a thief. Is it true? Answer her. I was scavenging whatever I could find. I had no idea it belonged to you. If you just asked, we'd have given it to you. Yeah, yeah, sure. Sure, you asshole. That, that's not all. He shot Rufus. In the back. You did what? We found the body near the wreck of Rufus's truck. That wasn't my finest moment. So you admit it. If I could take it back, I would. This is who you're asking us to vouch for, David? Seriously? You know we can't just open our doors to killers. Dick. We're trying to build something different here. Something resembling civilization. You think I'm bad? You have maniacs running around out there who are much, much worse. I'm not sure what you mean. We hold our people to the highest standards. Okay, um, sure. You have something to say? No. No. That's it. That's right. He knows what he done. There ain't nothing more to say. Uh, it's clear your brother doesn't belong here. Javi and his people have to go. You're overreacting. It was a scuffle over supplies. Uh, we've exiled people for less. Sorry, David. Your soldiers are already wild enough. We can't add more crazy to the mix. Take Javi and everyone in quarantine to the gate. Give them a pack with a bare minimum to survive. Fuck you. Look, we can't fight this. Not now. Kate and Gabe will be safe here. Your doctor friend too. But the rest of you. So you're taking our doctor. You're, gonna have you're to taking. Do what they say. I'm sorry. I can't leave Kate and Gabe alone. They won't be alone. I'll be here to take care of them. I can't help you now, but maybe I can down the road. Fuck you, David. Just stay alive. 
Okay. Easy for you to say. Yeah, I don't think I managed that situation that well. But also, I don't think there's like an option for me to stay anyway, so... You're lucky I don't gouge your fucking eyes out with my thumbs. You hear me, asshole? David packed this. He did. They said... Start walking. What about Eleanor? Walk. Eat shit. It's Hell yeah. Question. Fuck yeah, Trip. God damn it, Harvey! Let go of me! Let go! Do not... Fuck this up. Man, she packs a punch. There's a settlement a few miles west of here. Don't come back. Fuck you. You okay? Did you piss in someone's oatmeal back there? Thought you were gonna play along. We trusted you. Everything was going okay. At first. I don't know what happened back there. Yeah, well, I got a pretty good idea what's gonna happen out here. Let's just see what they gave us. Knowing them, it's probably a butter knife and a stick of gum. They could have just shot us. More than once. Oh, how fucking neighborly. <laughs> uh, this trio is honestly so good. The realist, the optimist, and the pessimist. That is so funny. <laughs> I love this. What's that? It looks like a map. I doubt they give one to everyone. Ava did say David packed the bag. Why the hell is it tied to a baseball bat? David's sense of humor was always poorly timed. Looks like they're expanding. Some of these areas are marked clear. Okay. There's Richmond. That helps. But we can't go back there. Knowing where it is lets us know where we are. Pretty sure David wants us to go there. And if this is us here, then I think we can head along this path. Just gotta head north. And to find north, we need to find the North Star. Thanks, Jesus. Thanks for your help. Is that it? Uh, I remember something about it facing toward the Little Dipper. Hey, I found it. There. The end of the Little Dipper. No, that's the Big Dipper. That's it. We need to go this way. What else is in there? Not a whole lot. Flashlight. Not enough weapons. For that big no of a food. bag, there's so few stuff, dude. Let's go. He was right about a butter knife. Trip, come on. What's up? I can't lose anyone else. I'm telling you, I can't. I get it. I get it. Trust God, Conrad. Maybe Eleanor. You won't lose anyone else. I won't let that happen. I'm gonna hold you to that, Hobby. <sighs> Sorry, man. Rough day. Man, I'm Sorry. really liking Trip during this playthrough. I, I gotta say. You got my back. This honestly almost and feels like a completely brand new playthrough After and I'm loving you. this shit. So fun, so entertaining.
What are you doing, Big G? I gotta tell you, man. I thought you and Kate were, you know. We were. We are. I mean, I saw you kiss her in the junkyard. And uh, I ain't judging, mind you. I'm just curious. What's the story? Ain't my business, I know. But what have we got to lose out here? I... Hey, man. It's all right. Go for it. I do have feelings for her. And maybe I shouldn't, but that doesn't just make him go away. Uh, no harm in saying it. Hell, only real harms in not saying it when you should. I mean, she knows. She does as well, so. What's that? Who you love, who loves you. If they're one and the same or otherwise. You know what I mean? <laughs> Just when you think you got everything figured out. Well, if it wasn't messy, it wouldn't be important, right? Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Just saying, man. Three things that never hide forever. The sun, the moon, and the truth. Eleanor and I, we were... something at some point. But nothing now. I respect her wishes. I really do. I just wish my heart respected mine. Jesus Christ, the glitching. This season is so goddamn glitchy. Jesus, Jesus God, fucking Christ. What you got for us, man? Listen. A giant ass heart? Tell me that isn't what I think it is. About a quarter mile out. Heading the same way we are. Well, we could hit walkers any second. We better scoot. Hey, Jesus, why are you still sticking with us? Okay, look alive, people. I got him. Whoa! Good job, Big J. You're badass. And a home run. Come on, man, move your ass. You want a piece of this? Come and get it. Where's Deuce ex Clementine when you need her? Oh no! Come on, Deuce X Clementine! Hell to the yeah! Good job, Clam! Uh, glitch? Can we count up the glitches in this goddamn episode? Jesus fucking Christ. I mean, this season so far is so glitchy. Jeez. It's so glitchy. I know people say that Telltale games are glitchy, but like, in all the times that I've played season 1 and 2, I've had maybe 2 or 3 glitches. And I've had like 15 already in this season. Should be safe. I thought you were going to Richmond. New Frontier kick you out? Yep. Doesn't surprise me. Not one bit. No thanks to David. And no thanks at all. David? That asshole's still around? This is gonna sound really weird, but... He's my brother. What? Worlds. Wait, it's a small world, I guess. Going? David sent you there? Yep. It's supposed to be safe. Clem. You can't trust him, Javi. I know. Don't. I 
learned that the hard way. I never wanted to need people again, but I had nowhere else to go. The New Frontier gave me this and made me one of them. They promised they'd help him. Him? That turned out to be a lie. I honestly kind of hate and kind of love the kind of like story that they're there telling us about what happened to AJ. Of, of course, when you were playing through the season, you, probably your biggest worry was that they will kill him, which would be so fucking annoying. It would have been so fucking annoying. So I'm glad they didn't do that. I'm gonna get you the medicine you need, AJ. I don't care what they say. Hey, it's Max. Huh? Yeah, they give it to a fucking junkie, but they will not give it to a baby. Van Comissin. Here it is. Now get the baby and just run away. Hang in there, goofball. This is gonna get you better. Just get it and run away. That is the smartest thing to do. Fuck these people. Clown. Dr. Lingard, what's the matter with you? Um, I'm fine. He's drugged. Clem, please don't. The vancomycin. That's the last of it. I don't fucking care. It'll be wasted on AJ. I told you. It could save someone's life if used right. You selfish jerk. You'd let him die to save your drugs. Because they won't do a thing for him. But they'll do it for you? I'm sorry, Claire. Fuck you. I tried everything. I I really did. Yeah. This will help him get better. Nothing can help your boy now. The drugs back before anyone finds out you took them. No. You know what they do to thieves here. I have to try. <laughs> Come on, goofball. I need you to be brave for me now, okay? Shh, shh. See? It's not so bad. Honestly, that sucks even to watch. I'm not like needle phobic or anything, but I hate fucking needles, dude. Shh. What the hell is this? I told her it was a bad idea. Are you fucking high again? Pull yourself together before the others see you. Deal with the damn kid. What the fuck were you thinking? What the fuck are you, you were thinking? Told those drugs couldn't help him. How could you be so stupid? So selfish? What did you think I would just give up on him? AJ is everything to me, David. I'd do anything to keep him alive. Except there's nothing left to do. That waste, that'll cost someone's life down Hopefully the road. yours. Someone in this camp. Someone who contributes to our survival. Oh, Come fuck off. I'm so She's fucking help her kid. done with these survival we defeatist the assholes. A week ago. But look, it's if helping. there's ever a zombie apocalypse, it I'll kill every single way, one of them. Because they don't, they, they're the one kind of people that don't deserve to more. live. I wish I could tell you it would save him. Then it was worth it. I'd do it again in a heartbeat. Fuck yeah, Glenn. Goddamn thought for anyone else. Yeah. Fuck we you. We opened our arms to you. Made you one of us. 
This is how you repay us? By stealing? By putting yourself before the group? Just run, Clem. Run. You're done here. So I'll be it. You broke our rules, Clem. Violated our trust. Fuck you all. You know what? Fuck you. And fuck the new frontier. You already did. That's why you have to go. So be it. Maybe we should give her another chance. Don't fight me on this, Paul. You know what Joan would say if she were here. Fuck I'm sorry, Joan. Clem. You brought this on yourself. Come on, AJ. We don't need this place anyway. Uh-uh. He stayed. What? Can't take him with you. Don't you fucking I dare. Sail. Get out of my fucking way. Right now. Clem. No oh, now you right? care about him, you fucking assholes! You down out there. Fuck you! Fuck you all! Fuck you! Fuck no! you! F -S -F -U -C -K -Y -O -U. you! F-U-C-K-Y-O-U! I'm gonna murder every single one of you! What about this? What was it all for? Don't forget, I'm one of you! Not anymore. Give me the baby, you bastard! Let her say goodbye. We owe her that much, at least. You Fine. will die as well, Ava. You heard her. Oh boy, am I gonna fucking... Say what you need to say, then you go. Please don't make me regret this. Fuck yeah! Really, Clem? Yeah, <laughs> really. You're a piece of work, you know that? You deserve it. Says the fucking dickhole! Jesus, I hate David so much. He's gonna get shot in the head by my hand. I'm really mad about this. I hope it's very recognizable in my voice, because I'm really mad about this. I thought AJ would be the one. Finally. The one what? The one who did it, Doc. I mean, you still don't know if he died. other people again man I love growing up Clem poor Clemmy this is what David circled on the map our smelly friends are back oh boy am I gonna bring that shit to David Guys, so I'm gonna hold. If too many of them push against this, it might give. It will give. Gotta find a way in. Locked. Shit. Look for another way in. It's our only chance. Yeah, I know. Oh man. This thing ain't as strong as we thought! Hurry it up! I'm doing my best! Well, there's a car. With no wheels. Shit! God damn it! The floor jack. Could be useful. The handle's missing. I saw the handle inside! Force it open. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
I'm almost done. It's not holding. I'm doing my best. Whoa, that was badass plan. Come on, Jay. Come on, Trip. Come on. Please make it. Don't you do that? You know how fucking dangerous that shit is? Damn, man. That was too close. Indeed. <sighs> Hopefully that door holds him. Baby killer in. Don't make me do this. Listen, I'm listening. Clem. Don't do it, Javi. Okay. I thought you were a good man. Oh, fuck you, Jesus. We need to barricade the door. Did you let him turn? Tell me! Answer her question. Now. We didn't have to worry about that. What the hell does that mean? He lived, Clem. He lived. But how? He was dying. Clem said so. AJ bounced back. He was stronger than he we He was thought. better than you. It was a miracle. You're lying. That's great. Clem, this is good news. How am I supposed to believe you? Clementine, please, I'm telling the truth. Where? Where is AJ now? I don't know for sure. But he's in Richmond? No. Dr. Lingard took care of the boy. He'll know how to find him. Why didn't you get Then I'm going him? back. None of us are going anywhere until the walker's clear. What's your plan, David? We used to store vehicle up this way. Provisions. I came to get you set up. And? And say goodbye. Fuck you. I don't want you to worry about Kate and Gabe. I'll take care of my family from now on. They'll be safe with me. Wait. This is a send-off? You're, you're just seeing me on my merry way. You think I want this? Well, you're not doing much to stop it. I don't see another way. I see. Shit. Board it up. Whoa. We need something to buffer. I mean, it's a little bit of an overkill to do a jump flying kick like this, Jesus, but Jesus. Wait a half second. Where'd you find this? Over there. Show me. Prescott. What the hell is all this? These could come in handy. Don't want to just take them, but... I might be going crazy, but... I think these came from Prescott. That definitely did. I don't understand how all this got here. 
Like you don't know. Hey, none of this stuff was here before. I don't have a damn thing to do with it. We've only ever kept a few basic supplies here for scouts. Your people looted this stuff from Prescott, David. Come on, we can't know that. Well, who, who else knew about this place? Who else would do that? Is the only one that gutted my town. This is bigger than just Prescott. There's spoils from other towns here too. Towns I heard got raided a while back. There, there's stuff here from the kingdom. <laughs> oh, we're coming into this shit. I'm so happy. Take and this off. episode is already longer than the previous one. Fuck. I'd do that little bitch again just to see her head pop. You sure as hell are stupid, ain't you? You only just realizing that now? I told you. Joan is on the warpath. Last thing we need is people getting wind of all this stuff. Look at all this shit. We're freaking rolling in it. Fucking badger. I'll give you that. Just glad we found some more smokes. That shit is the new gold. And now we get to see your head pop, you piece of shit. David! I thought better of you, Max. I really So did, did I. David, come on, man. We're a unit. There's no need for... Okay, bitch. You're dead. Stop him. He's getting away. Oh no you don't. Go. Get Badger. I'll get him all right. Okay, I'll come here, Badgie, Badgie, Badgie. Come here. It's time to play. It's time to play. Grab the cup! Smash face face! Oh no! Oh! Oh! And Javi just died. Or at least lost a bunch of teeth. Oh, you want to see a fly in your ointment? You're so dead, bro. I just shoved that gas can down your throat and lit you up like a candle. Oh, you're so dead, bitch. But this will do. You're so dead. You're so dead, bitch. You're worse than death. Fucking Garcias. Oh. You, you, you shook my goddamn guts out. You well, apparently you did have guts. Karma is a bitch. You brought this on yourself, Badger. You had it coming a long time. I wish he said that, though. Bring it then. See if I can. See if I give a shit. Well, no, but you see your guts. Hmm. So, get it over with. Come on. What are you waiting for? We've got to move. So, no point drawing it out. Back to it. <laughs> You bunch of pussies. That's enough, man. He's gone. Uh-uh. He's not getting away from us. For God's sake, Bobby. Get a goddamn hold of yourself. Holy shit! I hope that made you feel better. It did. It definitely did make me feel good. 
I avenged Mariana. <laughs> Why'd you do this, Max? It's all yours. Stop! Please! Raiding, looting, you betrayed who we are! You betrayed Richmond! Come on, David. This is Richmond. What's that supposed to mean? What's that supposed to mean? There's no use holding out, Max. The best you can do is make things right. We... we weren't doing it without support inside Richmond. Joan was in on it. Fucking Joan. We did it on her orders. She... she said we needed it to survive. I wanted to let you in, but she told me you'd never go for it. I'm... I'm sorry. Well, you were right on that. It's too late for sorry, you backstabbing shitbag. Please, don't kill me. David. I'll help you. I'll, I'll tell everyone in Richmond about this. I'll help you get back inside. <sighs> Maybe he'll be useful. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I put, I got all of it out on Badger. He was, it was his that. fault. He clearly was the one who was out of control. Max at least has some conscience. Conscience. Where's Lonnie? He gave us the slip. Hightailed it back towards Richmond. Son of a bitch. If he warns Joan. Wasn't there one more? No, not anymore. Oh. What? It's good riddance. That son of a bitch killed Mariana. Did that make you feel better? I wouldn't shed any tears if I were you. Maybe I'm shedding them for your brother. I thought it would at the time. Now? Now I'm not so sure. Hold on to that doubt. It means you're still human. Javi's earned my trust. And if any of you had any brains, you'd say the same. Hell yeah. I'm sure you did the right thing. Sometimes there's just no other way to make things right. My friend took a crowbar to someone once. Fuck yeah, he did. My people need to know about what we found here. What about your missing friends? I'm surprised you care. Human life isn't exactly high. On okay, the Jesus, why do you have to be such a pissy bitch? I know you're called Jesus and everything, they want but. Me to get home and warn them. So that's what I'm gonna do. Sooner the better. You sure you won't stay? We need your help. So do others. I won't forget about it. Huh. I actually didn't realize you that part word. of like. It's a uh, storm out there, all man. life is precious uh, crap is part of Jesus' character in the comics as well. I'm actually curious whether that is true for the we comics or whether fast. this was adapted into the I games after it happened on the TV show, which wouldn't make we sense because do. season 8 happened we in 2018 do. and this game was released in 2017, so I that timeline wouldn't line up. There. So that means in the comic well, books, safe, he's I also a old life is precious kind of dude, which is something that I thought you they forced yourself. onto the show to have this moral dilemma with Morgan. Right? We're gonna need allies in Richmond. Lingard and Clint, they're our best bet. If I can get to them before Joan does, maybe we have a chance. I know I was ready to say goodbye before, but I can't do this without you. Got it, bro. Can I count on you? I won't be able to pull this off myself. I'll back you up, but I'm doing this for Kate, not you. Fine. As long as we get it done. If Lonnie raises the alarm, they'll be waiting for us at the gates. There's a way in round back that'll get us around any sentries. We can take Badger's truck. I doubt he'll mind. Come on, we gotta get on the move. Herd's closing in. Man, this is so fun. Is this, is the episode gonna end now? Because we are already going for like an hour and 20 minutes, which is much longer already. It's like a fifth longer than the previous episode already. And I'm so into it. I'm playing through the whole season at this point. I'm into it, dude.
thinking this will go a lot better if we split up. A group this big can't exactly sneak around, particularly if they're expecting us. Eleanor's in there somewhere. I'm going after her. Lingard brought her to the clinic. That's your best bet. Javi, that's where you'll go to get Kate and Gabe. Then bring them to my house. It's the one with the raven on the hitching post. We'll all meet up there. After I pay a little visit to Joan. Stay out of sight. They'll be keeping an eye out for us. As soon as I can get Kate and Gabe, we'll see you back at the house. Roger that. Come on, Max. Be a good dude. I like you. I'll scout ahead. What about you, Clem? I'm pretty sure I've still got some friends in the New Frontier. If they know where AJ's being held, they'll tell me. As soon as I find him, I'm taking that truck and getting the hell out of here. Understandable. Oh. You are owed a vehicle. Keep an eye on David. He may be playing nice, but I'd still watch your back. Tell me about it. Also, oh, or should I say, you're telling me. I'm with you, Clem. He rubs me the wrong way. As soon as I get Kate and Gabe, I'm gonna figure out what's best for us. Well, I hope it involves getting far away from here. Well! But you're no dummy. Your instincts have been right most of the time. I know you'll make the right call. Thanks, Clem. I appreciate that. See you when I see you. David said to hang a ride up at that corner. Seems clear so far. Let's move. Man, for a community, this place does not look like one, I gotta say. You know Javi Garcia? He used to play shortstop for Baltimore. That Javier Garcia? That's who we're looking for? Yeah. That Javier Garcia. Anyway, sounds like some paranoid horse shit. Guy's a fucking ball player. There's the medical center. We go in, we get out, we get Kate and Gabe, we get out. What about our friends there? Doesn't exactly look like a welcoming committee. Damn it. We need a distraction. How's your throwing arm? Pretty good. What the hell was that? Let's check it out. You go first. Still got it. Damn, these guys are blind and deaf. Find out. Tell her we have to move, Kate. You got it. I'll meet you here. Javi! We thought you were... I was... super worried. We have to leave, Gabe. Now. Oh. Okay. I'm sorry. They said you guys were denied entry. It's true. We're on borrowed time. The people who run this place, they're ruthless. We have to move. Where's my dad? Is he coming? Don't worry, buddy. We're gonna go meet up with him. Excuse me? David has a house in town. He thinks we'll be okay there. Then let's go. Wait, Javi? While you were gone, this woman, Joan, came by. I felt like she was sizing me up. It was creepy. She implied David was in trouble. Like he was no longer in charge. I mean, he was never in charge. 
She kept saying Gabe and I didn't need to worry, but it only made me worry more. Joan's been running this place behind David's back. She's pulling the strings. What do you mean? The people who shot you? Answer to her. She ordered raids on other settlements. We found all this stuff from Prescott. She was behind Prescott? Yep. David's rounding up allies to confront her right now. Javi, I know you know this already. This is not our fight. We already lost Mari because of these people. Now, the whole place is about to become a war zone. The only thing I care about is keeping you safe. Then you know we can't get involved. What's going on? Tripp said we had to move to David's house. We're not doing that. We're getting the fuck out of Richmond before it's too late. Getting out? You shouldn't even be sitting- Shut up, Eleanor. What about my dad? We can't just leave him. Gabe, we don't even know who he is anymore. We have to get away before he gets us all killed. But he won't know where we are. Again. I'm sorry, Gabe. But we have to get out of here. If we're leaving, I've got to get some things for the road. All my stuff is stashed in the room they gave me. She's lying. I'll come with you. We'll catch up with you guys. Why are you always lying? <laughs> Gabe, come help. I got it. Come on, buddy. I'm not going, Javi. What? I'm gonna find my dad. I have to. Okay, buddy. I respect that. <sighs> Thank you. Gabe, no. Kate. No. Please, Gabe. Please. When did you start caring I for him? I could be a mom. I never thought I wanted to be a mom until I met you and your sister. I'm begging you, don't do this. It's my dad, Kate. I can't lose him again. And I can't lose you. Just, just say goodbye, Kate. I can't, Javi. Look at me, Gabe. Oh, you're really flip-flopping around, aren't you? You don't want to help David, but you don't want to leave Gabe? Fucking pick and choose, lady. You, you, can, you can't get one without the other. Not anymore. How is this episode still going, dude? And we still have two more to go! It's gotta end some point soon. It's his father, Kate. It's what he wants. And this is what you want. What we want. We got so close in the last few years. I... I thought Gabe would want to stay with us. Well, no. I really saw him as my kid. He's David's son. Not ours. No matter how long we've been taking care of him. You don't really think that. You can't. It's the truth. I mean, he's not your son. I'd hold it there, folks. And I'd consider explaining yourselves. I'd talk fast. Fast and clear. Could you please point those somewhere else? That's him, right? The brother? Thought so. Bring him in. Kate, run as quickly as you can. Come on, don't get knocked out now, Javi. You're a dumbass. Yeah, I, I think I know where this episode's gonna end now. I think I remember. I don't like your tone, David. If this is about your brother... Don't pretend like you don't know what this is about. 
You've got a lot to answer for. Me? You must be joking. What's oh this? no, now the fact that I chose her cake is not going to be I able to win over the guy with the hat. Are you kidding me? Not tuck your tail and run. Were you really going to desert me when I needed you most? Richmond's not safe. It's no place for an injured woman and a boy. So you were just going to leave me to it, huh? Where are they now? Girl got away. No sign of the kid. We'll deal with this later. You smuggled your brother into Richmond despite what we agreed. Clearly, you have no respect for any of us. This is serious, David. You know we can't let this go. You don't deserve respect. Not after the things you've done. What things? What's this all about? She's been ordering raids on peaceful communities, sending your men to murder and loot. Really? Joan, is this true? Do, uh, do I really need to answer? Yes! That's a serious charge. You come in swinging, you better have proof. Here's our proof. This lowlife was part of the raids. I... Well, Max, what do you have to say? Don't be afraid of her, Max. We've got your back. Me, Badger, and, and Lonnie, we ran the ops. Off Jones' orders. God damn it, Max. I'm washing my hands of this, man. Joan. How could you? Can somebody shoot her now? The real question is how could I not? Oh, fuck you. What would happen to us without your fertilizer, Clint? Or your pills, Paul? Oh, she's playing the fucking card. Do fuck you. Think you. Our would survive? I did what I had to to ensure that we would. It wasn't easy. So you survived. But at what cost? Do you even know how much suffering you've caused? I've no doubt it's less than I could. Oh yeah, and who are you All to measure you that? The winter. It's how easy to lost. say that when you're not the one suffering. Friends. Lovers. Children. I made a promise I would never let that happen again. Fuck you. The raids were just to keep us going till Richmond reached sustainability. Oh yeah. We're so That's close. what every imperialist so says. We're gonna we stop really being authoritarian pieces of shit eventually. Ourselves. We're doing this just until we reach a sustainability, but we're gonna we stop doing that. At some point. This, David. On Richmond's side. She's fucking delusional. Building a dream on the blood of innocence. You don't have to tell me, brother. We lost Mariana to those raids. How many others lost their kids too? I'm sorry, David. It breaks my heart about Yeah, you. I doubt that. It's... It's something I'm going to have to live with. Oh! So nice to you, you fucking sociopath! Take them! What the hell? Put them in a cell until I can figure out what to do with them. Don't you fucking touch me! That's an order! They don't take orders from you anymore, David. But from you? You're done here. You're siding with her, you fucking asshole? Fuck! You put yourself before the group. Go fuck yourself. I hope you choke on your fucking cake. It looked like shit, by the way. Hell yeah, it did. Paul, come on. I'm sorry. My hands are tied. This is not over, Joe. I have friends here. Allies. You guys are gonna pay for this. Oh, you're so gonna pay for this. God, Joan is such a fucking bitch. Okay, you know what? I'm really enjoying season 3. It's really fucking entertaining so far. Like, I'm feeling emotions. And I feel like, again, it's because I haven't played season 3 as much as season 1 and 2. But damn, am I mad? Am I pissed off? Am I engaged? I'm loving this. 
and I hope you enjoyed this great episode, because I personally think this was the best episode of season 3 so far. Both in terms of the plot and the shit that happened in the episode, but in terms of the video that I've done because due to it, you know? Because I feel like it's the most entertaining, because the last two were a little bit of a chore that I had to do to finish it up. Um, but yeah, this was a really, uh, really entertaining episode. Are we gonna get a trailer? I don't think so. Okay, we won. Cool. But, and I'm glad that this episode was actually much longer than the previous one, because there was no reason why episode 2 needed to be, like, fucking only one hour, barely. That's by far the shortest. Even 400 days, the goddamn DLC was longer. Jesus Christ. But yeah, fun episodes with a lot of... Uh, uh, unexpected events and a lot of cool moments. It was so much more entertaining uh, than episode 1 and 2. It's not even close. But again, I've played through episodes 1 and 2 so many times in comparison. While well, this is my first replay of episode 3, so yeah, it kind of makes sense that I'm going to be more into this. But yeah, I generally feel like I'm enjoying this more than even my original playthrough back in uh, 2019 when I started my YouTube channel. Although, back then, for whatever reason, when I was playing through Season 1, Season 2, and Season 3 in preparation for Season 4, um, I kind of got the perfect playthrough, for whatever reason. And what I mean by that is literally, I got the perfect choices based on my... Uh, ba the best dialogue options based on my choices, that it sounded like a TV show, like it was actually written out. Because sometimes, when you pick certain dialogue choices, it could feel out of place. If you get what I mean, like, like I think you do. I, I think you guys uh, understand what I'm trying to say here. And in my playthrough back then, I literally kind of got the player free playthrough where I picked the right options always to the point where it felt all natural and all perfect. And the characters all got the development that they deserved and interactions that they deserved. Like, for example, the interaction between Ben and Kenny in season... Uh, in season 1, uh, I think in episode 5, right before we get stuck in the house, they have an interaction where Kenny uh, kind of goes back on his hate for Ben. And feels uh, bad about uh, how much of an asshole he has been to Ben. And that's actually the first time, at least I remember getting that scene. I don't know if I got that scene before, but... It was a really nice scene that I got due to the perfect playthrough. But again, I don't remember when I got the perfect playthrough for Season 3 because that was the first time I actually played through Season 3. So maybe this is my perfect playthrough, you know? But yeah, this was a really entertaining episode. I enjoyed having Jesus as well. I didn't remember whether he, whether he was in the whole episode or not, but I'm glad that he was. Although, it really kind of bothered me a little bit how uh, all life is precious -y, uh he was because... He's a piece of shit. He deserved to die multiple times over. And it just... Him being such an... Uh, all life is precious person... Kind of brings me back to the main show. Like the Walking Dead TV show on AMC. And specifically season 8. Where all of a sudden he had issue with killing the saviors. Which kind of came out of nowhere. Which again might be part of his character naturally. In the comic books. But it kind of came out of nowhere in uh, season 8. And it really kind of felt shoved in for the sake of uh, just having him and Morgan have like a little bit of a face-off. But overall, really fun episode. I really like the intrigue and the politics of it and everything. It was a really fun episode. I can't wait to continue playing through uh, episode 4 and episode 5. Hopefully they'll be just as long because I'm loving this shit, dude. But yeah, uh, what did you guys think about this uh, episode? Comment down below and let's have a discussion about it. And also, tell me, uh, did you enjoy this episode more than the previous two uh, in terms of the videos that I've done, not the episode of the game? Like, did you enjoy this video more? And also, before we end this video, I just want to give a huge shout out to my currently two patrons on Patreon, Omar Bridgman and Deadpool. Thank you guys for your support, I really appreciate it, it really means a lot to me, you have decided to support me and have continued to support me for such a long time, I hope you continue to enjoy my content and continue to support me going forward, thank you very much. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please leave a like and subscribe, also check out the list in the description to my Twitter if you want to follow me over there, and to my Wattpad, where I post my stories, because in addition to doing all these videos on my channel, I'm also a writer. 
And if you don't enjoy my stories or you simply enjoy my videos, you can head over to my Patreon or to my coffee account where you can pledge your support and help get the channel going. Help support me so I can keep writing the stories you enjoy. But if you don't want to do it, that's completely fine. You can still help me out in other ways like liking this video, subscribing to the channel and especially sharing this video with somebody who you think might enjoy it. And I think this is pretty much it for this video. So hopefully I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye.